Hello, everyone, and welcome back to RCRC. That is the Relationship Connection with Ronald and Charlie. I am Charlie Willis, a mental health therapist. I'm Ronald Willis, a marriage and family therapist. And today, Charlie, we are looking at communication styles. Man, what is that all about? Mm, I don't know. Tell me. Well, let's read the scripture and find out. All right, so let's kick it off with the scripture today, which is Ephesians 4, 2, 9. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. All right, now, so what I am hearing that our communication style should be built on building each other up and giving each other grace. However, research says something different. Let's watch this clip, y'all. What's up, Charlie? What you got going on? Hey, Mom. Well, only thing I got going on is what's not going on in the office. What are you referring to? I've been meaning to talk to you the way you interact with Martha. I mean, you the way she talks to you is so disrespectful and you don't say anything. What are you expecting me to do? What? Are you expecting me to get angry? Uh, I'm expecting you to put her in her place. I did put her in her place. I think you expected me to get angry. I mean, it's just, it just, 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 it's just not a good look. It's like you, you have no rebuttal. You just, she says and does anything, and you, you don't act on it. I'm not gonna lie, her hostility would cause me to get angry and repeat what she's doing to me. You know, according to research, anger creates anxiety. And the last time I checked, I do not want to have anxiety. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So I think you're looking at it the wrong way, Charlie. Really? That's right. Because most people in that situation get angry. I do not. And you should know that. I don't get angry in this relationship either. Yeah, that's what's so sickening about it. Never mind. What do you mean sickening? Express yourself. I do express myself. Your true feelings, Ronald. Just express yourself. I refuse to use with hostility it. at someone to increase my anxiety. I refuse to do that. Okay. Maybe that's how you want to interact with others. That's not how I want to interact with others. Fine. I want to be calm. And not display hostility, Charlie. That's the wrong with people not today. We always get an angry. All right, you stand up to the way you want for yourself. Calm, cool, I'll stand up and cool. Okay, that's fine. Here it is, Charlie. Our new automobile. Man, it is nice. Ronald, it's a truck. I know it's a truck. I can see that. I, I thought we were getting a car. It makes more sense to get a truck, not a car. If we need something to haul, a truck can do that. Car can. But we don't ever haul anything. We will sooner or later. I don't want to rent a truck. I just buy a truck. I don't want a truck. I want a car. A you truck makes more sense for us, Charlie. It can't, be, it can't be about what you want. I like trucks. We get a truck, Charlie. All right, Ronald. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. You're going to love it, Charlie.
We are here to equip, empower, and educate couples on how to thrive in their relationships. How? Through candid conversations right here on this platform. That's right. And don't forget to help make a contribution to our cash app at First Focus Faith. And if you're watching my YouTube, like, comment, share, subscribe, do it all because we need it all. All right. So let's get started. What's going on with this clip, Charlie? A lot's going on in, in this clip. Well, we focus on two communication styles in this clip. And let's tell the, our viewers what our, we, we're talking about four, right? So we okay. did two in the clip. But there's four four communication styles we're talking about now, and there's really a total of five. But we're gonna start off with the, the first four. Okay, okay, we can do that. So in the clip, let's talk about that. Well, the communication styles are placate, placator, placator, super reasonable, super reasonable, and distractor and blamer. All right, all right. So what two did we illustrate in the clip, Charlie? uh placator and super reasonable all right then so we saw it and the the placator was you okay and what was you doing well uh, apparently i agreed to something i really didn't want why did you do that <sighs> because i'm a oh, yes man. girl i'm a oh, yes, yes girl. girl whatever you want whatever whatever it is you know i may give some resistance but not wholeheartedly. I'm just mm -hmm. going to cave in. Yeah, it okay. would have been too much to rock the boat in that situation. So we'll get the truck. You didn't want the car? I wanted the car, not the truck. But we get in the truck. Exactly. <laughs> so, yes, definitely. You, you can see placating all in that uh, clip there. And so let's help educate our viewers. What is, what is this word? What does it mean? Mm -hmm. All right. So um, to define being a placator, there's someone who's basically, like I said before, yes, like to say yes. Well, yes, people pleaser. And um, they're apologetic. Um, they, they really don't want to get into anything that will stir up an argument. So um, just extremely nice people. No, nice pushovers, <laughs> not nice people. Don't get it twisted, Charlie. Don't confuse the viewers out there. No, they are not founded on being a nice person. They right. nicely get pushed over. Right, right. You it's know, whatever makes that's the other person word happy. out there. Doormat. <laughs> <laughs> Walking all over someone. A lot of people to walk all over them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and they often are operating being scared to talk mm. scared mm. to tell their feelings yeah. because they don't want to what you said rock the boat right so there's a number of, uh oh my gosh i can't even think of there's a number of reasons why someone may operate in this manner we just said they're scared <laughs> but there's there there's more they're things suffering from something. yes there's more things they're suffering um, from something that creates this Yes, that may perhaps create um, this environment or this the way they respond. Okay, so it's stated in uh, research. Here we go. That um, people people that are yes people normally suffer from maybe low self esteem, feeling helpless about the situation. I can see that to a degree. Um, also, they 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 don't like to make any decisions. Or they may suffer from depression. I, I'm I'm on the fence with that last one. Well, if you got low self esteem, it normally is connected with depression. Um, not wholeheartedly. I mean, that's why I said normally yeah. connected mm -hmm. with depression because mm -hmm. anyone with with high self esteem probably not going to be suffering from depression. Mm -hmm. Normally, okay. people with depression suffer from low self esteem also. Okay. So that's right. So you know they they're not feeling good about themselves, and you, and you know if you look at your family, or friends, or coworkers. That's probably somebody in your circle that's a placator. Or it might be yourself, okay? Or you may have some aspects of it, you know, possibly. Well, that is that is that is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but definitely, you know, this this is this is a negative communication style. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not the, the the scripture that we read. Okay. Building each other up and have make having grace for others. No, a placator is is 
suffering from low self-esteem. They allow people to push on anyway. And, 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 and the end result is that people can talk to them any kind of way and they're not going to do anything about it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're placating the, your, the situation. Okay? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let... Um, we saw it in the clip. You know, yeah, I, I push I, you over, Charlie. Just I got what that I one. wanted. That's not gonna happen again. <laughs> That's if you placate it, Will. Well, I'm not a placater. Well, in that clip you were. Well, and we they you really don't you. know who you are. You might be a placater and perpetrating over here. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so these are four negative communication style. Placator is one. What is another, Charlie? All right. So let's talk about the second one here is the super reasonable my favorite what so a person that operates in this manner oh, reasonable they generally come off as calm cool calm. collected cool collected. um and you saw this in the sec in the one part of the clip where ronald displayed um this aspect of being super reasonable that's right um, no hostility over here mm -hmm. they choose their words um real carefully, carefully. um have elaborate language um um most likely that comes about again here they try to avoid arguments by sounding right while expecting people to conform to the rules to their rules to their rules which i it, it almost sound like you are uh conniving <laughs> conniving manipulation going yeah, on there, that that's the saying? word because if you're being calm cool collected i'm just saying but you and then in turn to avoid arguments but then in turn you expect people to come form to your rules well they're they're sneaky people because that's what it sounds like <laughs> ultimately they're not telling their true feelings if you're angry maybe you need to get angry however these people uh try to uh uh be in an environment that does not display any ang anger hmm. in other words they always calm they always uh Nothing ever uh, makes them angry. Nothing ever, uh, you know, you can't say anything to them and, and they, they'll go off, okay? I've never met someone like that. Well, you, did, you did in the clip. In the clip. That's right. I do not get angry. Not me. That was very nauseated. <laughs> very nauseated. Everyone gets angry, okay? And you have to be true to yourself and true to your feelings and stuff because ultimately, if you're not true to yourself and you got things going on, you cannot solve those things. Okay, otherwise you're being a fake. Mm -mm. That's right. You're really not that person. Okay, but you're faking like you're something else, and you're really not. Mm. And your your objective is, well, I'm doing these things to make sure I get along with others, and there is no uh, arguments and stuff. And I I do not get rattled. Nothing bothers me. Okay, and that's not true because we're human beings. We're imperfect. Things will bother a person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they display not. Um they don't want to be wrong they don't no like mistakes wrong, over here right um they they don't they won't admit to any mistakes that are being made right. on their part um just like you said disconnected from their true feelings and they like to quote facts and statistics a lot that yeah, would they, be nauseating yeah, they this rigid you know there's some rigid going on because they stay in they stay in this uh place and they never go left to right okay and no one is like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. no one can be like that. You know, sometimes you you get uh, angry. Sometimes you get sad. These super reasonable people. They don't, neither one. They probably won't even cry at funerals. Like, what's wrong with you? I'm good. Okay, nothing bothers you. No, nothing bothers me. That's disturbing. <laughs> That's disturbing. But I'm saying this is where they at though. Mm -hmm. Okay, they disconnected with their true feelings. Okay. And they're trying to portray something that they're not. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're trying to be perfect. And no one is perfect. It's okay to strive for perfection, but you don't you don't want to strive to perfection where all of a sudden you 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 have this aura about yourself that you consider yourself as perfect, and no mm -hmm. one is perfect. Okay. It's mm -hmm. okay to strive for perfection, but don't claim to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Super reasonable. Super reasonable. It's another negative. Like together. <laughs> it's another negative communication style that often you see in people. And like I said, with the with placate placator, you probably know someone in your family just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not you. 
Mm, possible. Okay. <laughs> possible. What's the third? All right. So the Charlie? third uh, communication, negative communication style uh, that is portrayed is someone who takes on the aspect of being the blamer. Blamer. Um, they, it's, it's never their fault. You know, they always have to bring something or someone else in for the reason why something did or didn't occur. Okay. Um, they'll say things like, if you, if you only had did such and such, if you only had, um, did this and that, then it could have happened. They, they just have to put the blame on someone else. Yeah, they, they, they are related to the super reasonable because both communication style consists of it's not my fault. Mm. It's always someone else's fault, but it's not my fault. But they, they unlike the super reasonable, right, they will express some emotions to the place where they'll not only say it's not my fault, mm -hmm. they'll blame you. Mm. It's your fault. Yeah. You did it. Because I am perfect. I don't make mistakes. I'm, I'm, they don't hold themselves accountable for their mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. So when they don't hold themselves accountable for action, they're looking for someone to blame. I can see here where the word manipulation comes up again. That's right. Because definitely you 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 you're trying to manip, nip, I'm sorry manipulate the situation and put it back on put it on someone else. It's, it was if you it's had your done, fault, Charlie. What? That's right. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna blame everything on you, and sadly, right, the person that they blame the, the most is the person they with the most. Mm. That's right. So, All right. So if we dig deep, there are some things going on here. Yeah, what's going on with them? Some though? things going on with the way they act, the personality, or something going on is um, they uh, feel like they they're not getting their needs met. Of course, they may be unhappy and sad, and they may be angry. They have anger issues. Issue. <laughs> they have some challenge with their anger. So unlike the super reasonable who are able to, to manage their anger in such a way to hide it from you, mm. the blamer will show you. Yeah, I ain't got to hide upset. nothing. I'm, a, I'm angry. They may yell and shout at you. Okay? And they may have a challenge in this area where they, they can't let's, manage let's the anger. Let's stop and think about that. Why am I angry, though? If I'm a blamer. Right. When I think of that, when I when I think of why I would be angry is because I don't want to see a flaw about myself. Right. But I'm angry because you have made a mistake and I'm upset with it. This is your fault. You know, no, it's, it, it was the it's your fault, Charlie. That's why I'm angry. If you want to do this, this would have not occurred. So I'm angry about that. You know, maybe maybe like like let's say we were going to the movies or something. Right. And then you're supposed to buy the ticket. Right. And then we get to the theater, you didn't buy the ticket. Well, if I'm a blamer, right? Naturally, I'm a wholeheartedly well, blame it on you and get angry with you because you didn't do it. Well, I can do see it. that. But what if it's really your fault? I'm going to manipulate the situation and make it out your fault. Okay, I don't see how that movie. I don't have that may not be an example where I can manipulate that. I'm, I was giving an example where I'm getting angry at you for something that I'm blaming you for. You shouldn't do that. That's what a blamer does. Mm. That's why they have a lot of anger issues going on, okay? Mm -hmm. Because things are not going right. It's not my fault. It's your fault. So I'm angry with you. Mm -hmm. I don't get angry with myself. I'm well, getting angry the, with you. In the dynamics of a relationship, when you blame, continuously blame your spouse, why would I do that? Because I ain't going to blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to blame me. I'm a blamer. I'm going to blame you. And, 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 and the bad thing about being a blamer, you don't hold yourself accountable for your actions. You know, I can, I can go back to the, to, to the ticket part and say that maybe part of that purchasing the ticket, I suppose that it gave you the money. Because I didn't give you the money, you didn't buy the ticket. But, mm -hmm. uh, but when I look at it, I'm going to say it's all your fault. I may say something like, you should ask me for the money. Oh no! He's got yeah, I'm gonna find a way to manipulate it in such a way to blame it on you. Although it's, it's my fault, I didn't give you the money. I'm gonna manipulate and say it's your fault. You should have asked me for the money, Charlie. Do you? If you asked me for the money, I'd have gave you the money. You'd have had the tickets, and we'd be seeing the movie right now. But because you didn't buy the tickets, we can't see the movie. It's your fault. Okay. I'm a blame. <sighs> we know people like that. Do do, do you we have know no people, people like that? that. We do. 
Blame. There's a lot of blamers out there. <laughs> blame her. Blame. I'm mm -hmm. blaming you. All right. Can't be my fault. So no. That's, that's another bad negative communication style that's, mm -hmm. that, that does not adhere to our scripture of Ephesians 4, 29, where it says that we should be building others up and giving people grace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blame right. don't give anyone grace. All right. So our fourth negative communication style we're talking about today is the distractor. All right. Now this one here, I, I'm not sure about, um, and it may be I've seen this, but let's just talk about what it is. All right. So this is someone who is talkative, unfocused. Always talking. Often and often frank, uh, frantically active. Um, they're erratic, purposeful. Um, and sometimes out of touch with reality. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they may avoid eye contact, don't like answering questions directly, quick to change. This person is all over the place. That's right. They, mm -hmm. they, they, they lack focus. <laughs> they distract it all over the place. Okay? Quick to change the subject or ignore it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, problem with problem? There is no problem. Everything's fine. Distracted will not solve a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it also says when they get stuck into a project, they find it difficult to know when to stop and exclude everything else. And they're procrastinators. Mm. Sounds familiar? Probably, probably do. Yeah. We know people like that. Yeah, I, I, okay. well, definitely. To to degree. Mm -hmm. Right, because these four communication style, if you around your family, friends, coworkers, you can identify these communication style. Because people are like that. Mm -hmm. We didn't make this up. We didn't. No, we did not. They're distractors all over the place. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they just not focus. And if a problem comes their way, they're going to distract it and do something else and not focus on the problem. And therefore, problems don't get solved for you distract her. Mm. Because you're not going to focus on the problem. Mm -hmm. You're going to focus on distracting from whatever's going on that makes you feel negative. You're going you're gonna to distract it. I mean, because you do not want to feel this way, you're going to uh, reinvent this situation or circumstance to make you feel better. You may mm -hmm. even go out and get a drink. Okay, You may make jokes. Uh, uh, why is this person laughing? You know, I, I'm wondering if I can see this. Do you do you ever you ever have or notice a person that when something should be serious or concerned? They're not serious. What's going they, on? They make a joke or kind of laugh things Are off. Are you kidding kinda, me? You know, why are you not serious? Uh, why would they do that? Because they're not, they, they, it makes them feel bad on the inside. Okay. Right? So this is a method for not feeling bad. Mm. But really, you're not in touch with your feelings because sometimes you need to feel bad on the inside to understand what is going on. This is why God gave us emotions. Mm. So, and then it creates connections. Creates connections. That's right. Because if I'm feeling sad and let my partner know I'm sad, they can come in and make me feel good versus me feeling sad. Now I'm going to distract myself and try to make myself feel better and stuff. And really I'm not mm -hmm. because it doesn't work. And then you can't be interested with your partner because your partner thinks you're good. Mm -hmm. You're laughing. You're joking. You're not, you're not uh, sad or anything like that and stuff. Oh, Ron's okay. Look at him. He's over there joking. No, he's not. He's being a distract. I mean, He's being a distractor. He's a distractor. That's his communication style because he disconnected with the real feelings. So, so when I hear that, I'm thinking a distractor is more about themselves. It is a selfish way to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Because you you can't give yourself to your partner like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't solve problems like that. And then the the uh, this one they said they avoid eye contact. Do you know some people like that? Yes, you do. Possible. Yeah, these, these four communications out there are a negative way to be. Now, we you you may not fit wholeheartedly wholeheartedly in the one communication style. Right. You may be a combination of all four. Mm, I hope not all four, but all three, all two. Yeah. Okay. So definitely you want to understand these communication styles and you want to adhere to our scripture and not these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it take time? Yes, it takes time. But the first, the first thing, like Charlie always says, what awareness? Yeah, you aware? That is right. You got to be aware. You can't fix anything if, well, in here, awareness, of course, 
and then acknowledgement as well. You got to be aware that these communi communication styles exist with yourself, with your family, friends, your partner, whoever. You need to understand mm -hmm. that these communication styles exist. Okay. Now, and then also go further, especially in your relationship, I would say, and ask the question, how's this affecting my relationship? In a negative way. You know, can my partner even see this about me? Most likely they can't. They probably can't because they're not aware of these communications. If they styles. don't, they know there there's something is going on. Right, they know right. that right. there's an Especially issue. Blame them. Well, that's an easy one because yeah. um it's it's is it's out there a lot. So yeah. Now this 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 these communication style is coming from the uh, expert, okay. Uh when you do your research, okay, you wanna uh right there, Charlie. Virginia Satire. That's right. She is the founder of these communication styles. And she estimated that roughly 50% of the population are what? Placators. Flamers. <laughs> okay. 50% of, I'm sorry, placators, <laughs> man. Okay. Oh man, I kept saying blamers and placators. <laughs> it probably feels like that it because. Feels like it. Charlie because, was right. I was wrong, man. And that, that don't happen that much, though. It probably feels like that because that's what we know the most. You know what I'm saying? We know people blame people a lot. So I, I, not in the everyday setting that you see people run around saying, you're a placator, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what is play play? play I'm a what? what? <laughs> you know. What is that? What? Okay. So yeah, so, I can see that. So fifty percent of people are, are actually placators. Are are not rocking the boat. Right. We don't want to rock no boat over right. here. Right. Thirty percent are blamers. Okay. Fifteen percent are the super reasonable, and zero point five percent are distractors. So that's not a one hundred percent. No. Well, there's a the fifth one that we didn't get into. Um, that probably gets the last of the you know percentage there. But why most of the people are, are placators? So what I'm hearing is most people are yes people. Don't want to rock the boat. Super, uh, trying to be agreeable, I guess. Well, when I'm in in the aspects of a relationship, I can see why that would would occur. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. I can see why that would. Don't occur. make me happy. Whatever makes you happy. What's that uh, that saying? Happy somebody. What's that saying? Um, uh, happy. Spouse. No, happy, no, 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 no. <laughs> happy life. Happy, happy what not? Spouse. Happy wife. wife happy oh, happy life. wife. Yeah, that is that a placator? Possible. Sounds like it to me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, these are four negative communication style. Our time is about up. So Ooh. what we would like to do is catch us next week when we talk about the fifth communication style, and it's the place you, where you really want to be. Whoa. And according to the expert, only 4.5% of people are that communication style, which is congruent. Come back next week when we talk about the most important one. Congruence. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.